Some of the greatest actors on Broadway are now making their debut in a television series. James Earl Jones is starring in Paris. Of course, you remember him from The Great White Hope and the voice of Darth Vader in Star Wars, James Earl Jones. We are absolutely delighted to welcome a fine, one of the finest actors I have ever seen, James Earl Jones to 1011 Strong on a new program called Paris. Now, you have seen this man many times before, but for your point of reference, mostly The Great White Hope, both on Broadway and the movie, and he played the role of Alex Haley in Roots, an outstanding series. May I tell you something personal, Mr. Jones? I saw you on Broadway in The Great White Hope in New York. I have never been so moved in my life. This is what you did to me. I'm an actor, too. So when I go to see a show, I sit there and I watch what the actors do, and I really don't get emotionally involved. You so moved me, I sat there hold, trying to hold back the tears. When, when you walked in with Jane Alexander, carrying the body with the broken neck, I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand it, and I was fighting. I didn't want to sit there and cry. You know, I was fighting the whole thing all the way, and I, I said to myself, stop, he's got to stop, I can't take it anymore. You moved me that much. And then, fortunately, the play was over because I was going to get up and walk out and leave. I couldn't stand it. I was too involved. Fortunately, the curtain came down. I walked back to the hotel crying. That's what you did to me. Thank you, because your presence uh, is what did that to you. And uh, it was the presence of the audience that made that a, a special event in theater. Uh, the play itself is a, was a, a rambling play. It only covered, uh, you know, snatches of Jack Johnson's life. We call him Jack Jefferson, if you saw it on television. Uh, and uh, the, the audience uh, often had that, that, that experience, and it was what you brought to it. And when it was done on television, the film was presented on television, I, no I watched it and I noticed that uh, it had a certain intensity that it did not have in the cinema. You know. Oh, the oh small I'm screen, so glad you said that. The small screen compacted it, and it reminded me of, uh, well, you, you're an actress, Clifford Odets, the kind of yeah. driving, hammering, Dialogue. Mm -hmm. Dialogue is often hard to carry on on film. I did not get as involved with you emotionally on no. screen as I did seeing you in the theater doing it. And I, I wondered what happened. It, what it, was wrong with the It movie? had to do, well, one, uh, it never became a movie. It was a story that was filmed. Uh, and that's, that's partly something that I'm, I'm learning from as an actor. Uh, how to make a play into a movie is still a very difficult mm -hmm. problem. But uh, the fact that you, your presence in the theater counted in a way that it does not count mm -hmm. when you're sitting at home mm -hmm. uh, in, in the privacy and security of your home. The irony is your father was a boxer, and yes. you wind up playing a prize fighter. I learned a lot from him in my preparation for that role. Uh, I learned a lot from Ali. Ali came in and... Uh, Do you like sometimes. boxing? No, no. I think it's a horrible... Oh, good. I'm uh, glad you, oh, we agree. Hold I on. can't call it a sport. It's a horrible event. Uh, whether you do it on the street or whether you do it in the ring, it's a... Uh, uh, the idea of somebody's fist, blood or not, smashing into somebody's face, head. But in that film, Jim Beatty, who's a young man from um, the Midwest that I that I got to like, uh, he played uh, Jess Willard, the tall one at the end, the one that defeats Jack Johnson. And uh, Jim and I had to hit each other because it was outdoors, and the the cameras had to be positioned in such a way that we had, to, we, we couldn't fake the punches. We had to hit each other hard enough to knock each other down. Now, Jim is mm. big. Mm -hmm. Well, my experience of being hit hard enough to be knocked down with, with gloves on was you hear a ping sound in your head like somebody thumps a balloon, ping, and suddenly you, hear, you see a, you sense a flash of white, black, and then you're sitting on your can, and then you get very drowsy. Mm. Well, that's because the brain is being assaulted, you know. I, I, I don't, I love Ali. I love the... What I love his style. The, uh, yes. But I don't like the fact that he punches people and people punch him. Young Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, the great Sugar, Sugar Ray Robinson, they were all great artists mm -hmm. as pugilists, but uh, I don't like that as a, as a sport at all. Uh -huh. right. Have you ever read Chaucer's Canterbury Tales? Shower Sota, in when April. When that April with the short, shorter, the gentle bath of rain, I have to perish into the world. The reason I'm bringing it up is look at its tooth. <laughs> a gap tooth. Do you remember the wife of Bath had a gap tooth? Oh, in other words, a space in between her teeth. And Chaucer said that that was sexy. Well, he wouldn't use the term sexy, but sensuous. Well, it, 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 sensuous. It, 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 so. is, it is as unique and as special as the mark on Caesar's forehead, which is simply a vein that stands out when you get angry in your forehead. I, I have both. And uh, uh, 
I rather than get my teeth fixed, I, I just I, I I like it. It's unique. Around. And you know what happened? When I saw you in Roots 2, when you discovered Kunta Kinte, I'll never forget, the camera came on close and you said, Kunta Kinte, I have found you, and spit came out. Spit came out from that opening in your tooth, and it was just, it was so explosive and so moving. You, know, you move me every time I turn around, oh my goodness. And you're going to move us all now in Paris. We're allowed to spit, we're allowed <laughs> to sweat. We're, oh, I think anything that, that an actor can do without being offensive, it's okay uh, because what you want to present is a human experience and, and humans are to some extent flesh and blood creatures and uh, but in, in Paris uh, the emphasis on is on brain mm -hmm. brain and possibly spirit intuition and so on rather than muscle rather than, than action there'll be enough action to keep you awake uh, enough car chases enough uh, you know yeah. fists and so on but that's not the emphasis is the, those things never happen uh, gratuitously uh, uh, I, I hope eventually when the writing and the uh, and directing and the acting gets together on this story that we can uh, take crime solving back to the sort of thing that Sherlock Holmes, Charlie Chan did. Well, will you have little curiosities? Like, I, I saw your pilot and you reminded me, just in a way, of Columbo. I mean, a little uniqueness to your character that you will develop some of these little things? Not, uh, uh, I won't develop the similarity to Columbo. Uh, I, I will find a, a special direction for this character. but. He, he does use guile in the mm -hmm. same way that uh, Columbo mm -hmm. uses guile. Uh -huh. One last question, Mr. Jones. Totally um, you, you have a speech impediment. Yes, I'm, you a, have, I'm a stutterer. You have overcome quite well, I would To say. some extent, but once a stutterer, always a stutterer. Oh, you mean you can't cure it? No, it's a bit like epilepsy. It, it, is, uh, it is very similar to the petit mal, where uh, what happens is you, you get to a word or sound or uh, the inability to express yourself, or you, or you have too much to express, and uh, you have a logjam, an emotional, electrical, in terms of the brain. Okay. Logjam, the trip, the trip, you know. Is it emotional or physical? It, it's it's uh, primarily emotional. Well, looking at you and hearing you talk, no one would think you had a speech defect. Uh-huh. Well, uh, it's called training and vocational guidance. Well, welcome to the television series, Mr. Jones. It is an honor meeting you. I'm, I'm just thrilled. I really am. And wish you best of luck in the series. Thank you very much. The show is Paris. Watch for him here on 1011 Strong, James Earl Jones.